I usually disseminate the knowledge and my experiences in the form of uh, research posters and oral presentations. And I am converting two of my PhD thesis chapters into research articles and I'm expecting to publish those two articles in the beginning of next year. And I attend a number of international conferences in different countries. I also published some uh, academic journal papers and I did um, oral presentations or post presentation. I also use researchers online platform to uh, post my academic journal papers. Presenting my findings to colleagues on the faculty during colloquiums and to the wider research community, such as at the research event organized by, by the Association of Fashion and Textile Courses, and at many other academic conferences. I also self-publish on online platform, such as ResearchGate and Academia.edu where I can provide an academic perspective to a wider community. In addition, I have established a research connection with a wider research community outside of the field of fashion studies via academic collaboration with other researchers. At present, I'm collaborating with colleagues in Birmingham School of Art, in the Birmingham Royal Conservatory, and with colleagues in School of English. Because it was a collection that was given by a woman who lived in Birmingham, the collection itself is middle class, it's ordinary in inverted commas. I think it has much more to tell us than a lot of dress collections. So actually, it's really important to me that the information is shared with the general public and not just scholars. Um, because it's almost part of the story of the collection and I think it has to be fully integrated to me which is really important from a, um, an ethical perspective. I was attending some international conference for sharing my research and uh, present my papers which can help me to build uh, networking with other researchers and, I also, and also a good opportunity to study each other. Uh, for my design research, I have attended three fashion shows uh, for the knitwear design collection and I have had two exhibitions for my research. I always try and put it, whatever I learn back into my teaching with my students. I also like to share stuff with my colleagues here at work. Myself and some colleagues and also a few students are setting up a student conference, which is really exciting. It's our first one. Uh, in April and uh, we want the students to get really excited about research and shout about what they're doing, what they're passionate about and how they see the future of our fashion and textile industry. I love the idea of the journeys that things go on and hopefully they've been treasures for lots of people along the way, not because they were necessarily new or pristine but maybe because of association. Hopefully I enable it to go further, move forward and have a new lease of life. Well in the old days it was kind of like you get on a plane and you rock up and, and you start talking. And I, I think that's still there, that's still very valuable. Actually um, one way you share who you are and what you think is by creating relationships with individuals um, and groups of individuals. And so there's a kind of dissemination which happens through a kind of socialization. There are kind of formal methodologies, if you like, within research in the way information and knowledge and opinion is shared, which is the conference, the book, the journal, the magazine, all those kinds of things. And I've developed a technique of talking which just relies on a lot of pictures and me responding to a narrative which I've constructed um, which allows me some flexibility and adaptability in varying messages according to audiences. More recently, because of, I suppose, the way we all become addicted to social media and other kind of internet opportunities, I've started to use those technologies, um, both for my creative work and for my written work. Uh, I'm not quite sure the extent to which the way in which researchers do that is just a kind of vanity publishing alternative. Um, but it seems comforting the idea that in some way things are manifested, that they are in a public sphere. I've been lucky enough to 
attend a conference in uh, New Delhi, India, where I was able to share my findings so far. Through that, there is a publication of the conference proceedings. With teaching, um, my knowledge gets to students. We can compare experiences. We have a big international community. So being between two cultures, developing fashion and identity, um, and business is something that comes up in, in the job. I would love to write a book about what I found out. Um, and through doing the literature review and finding that there's a, a gap in knowledge, it's something that publishers might look for, it's something that is interesting to journals. One of the things I found most incomprehensible, which I think a lot of researchers and, and also practitioners find difficult, at the beginning of their careers, is why on earth would you share your work? Why would you show your creative work? Or why would you talk about a topic that you have a particular view on? And I think it, you don't really know that until you've started doing it. And once you've started down that path of being a publicist, uh, almost being a self-publicist on occasion, um, and finding opportunities to talk, to write, uh, to interact, um, then you start to realise that there's a value in that, there's a social and cultural value, plus there's an enjoyment in life.